Because there's thousands of possible chemical reactions, it would not be beneficial or even possible to memorize every single chemical equation. Fortunately, chemists have found that there are trends in which they can use to predict certain products given that they know the reactants. There are seven types of chemical equations. Synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, combustion, acid-base reactions, and oxidation-reduction reactions. In this video, we are going to cover the first type of chemical reaction, synthesis. A synthesis reaction is when two or more substances come together to form a new compound. These types of reactions can also be known as composition reactions because they seem to compose or make new substances. The formula you can think of for this type of reaction is A plus B equals AB. We have two individual elements, element A and element B. When these two elements come together, they form a single compound, in other words, AB. The easiest way to think of these types of reactions is dating. You can have two single people come together to form a couple. Keep in mind, just like in dating, there is baggage that comes along with this reaction. This baggage is each element's oxidation number. Remember, individual elements alone do not have oxidation numbers. But once they combine with different elements, those oxidation numbers are now visible for the whole world. Just to refresh you on how to use oxidation numbers, you assign each element its individual oxidation number. Then you cross the oxidation number from one element to the other element's subscript. You then reduce any needed subscripts. For example, any subscript of one is not needed, and if both subscripts are able to be reduced by the same number, you can go ahead and reduce away. Another helpful hint is when working through these types of problems, it's beneficial to decipher what exactly is happening. You can look at some keywords to indicate what type of reaction is occurring here. If you see words like synthesize, synthesis, or come together, or compose, those should be dead giveaways that they are synthesis reactions or composition reactions. Now let's work through a couple examples. Write a chemical equation for the synthesis of water. My first step to approach this is to realize that this is a synthesis reaction. Hint, it says synthesis in the question. I also realize that what I am synthesizing is going to be the product. So, just by this statement, I know that we are making water. If you do not know by now, water's chemical formula is H2O. So, if I am making H2O, I realize it is composed of two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. With this information, I can start my synthesis reaction. Hydrogen plus oxygen yields water. If you do not know this already or just forgot, hydrogen and oxygen are both diatomic, meaning that by themselves, they are found in pairs. So let's amend this equation before we start balancing it. H2 plus O2 yields H2O. Now that we have the backbone of our equation, we can start balancing it out. To start out, we have two hydrogens on the reactant side and two hydrogens on the product side. So all's good. Next, we realize that we have two oxygens on the reactant side, but only one on the product side. In order to fix this, we have to add a two as a coefficient in front of the water compound on my product side. This gives me two oxygens on both sides, but now I have four hydrogens on my product side and only two on my reactant side. In order to fix this, I'm gonna to have to add a two as a coefficient in front of my hydrogen atom on the reactant side. Now, we have four hydrogens on both sides and two oxygens on both sides, so this means that we're balanced. So, the answer to our question for what is the synthesis of water is 2H2 plus O2 yields 2H2O. Let's work on another example to give you some more practice. If you really want to be an overachiever, you can pause the video at any point and attempt to work out chemical equations on your own, then watch the vi video to check it out. So our next question is, write an equation for the composition of sodium chloride. First step is to determine what is my product. Well, sodium chloride is NaCl. I can construct the backbone of my chemical equation now by saying sodium plus chlorine is sodium chloride. Remember, chlorine is diatomic. The next step is to determine whether the reaction is balanced or not. We see that we have one sodium atom on both sides of the reaction, but notice that there are two chlorines on the reactant side and only one on the product side. Because of this, we can add a two as a coefficient in front of our product. This will allow our chlorines to be equal but affect our sodiums. Now we have one sodium in the reactant side and two in the product side. Now, in order to fix this problem, we have to add a 2 as a coefficient in front of the sodium atoms. 
Now we can say that we're all balanced up and we can rewrite our equation. The composition of sodium chloride is 2Na plus Cl2 yields 2NaCl. Let's work on one final example for a synthesis reaction. This time, let's use a transition metal. Here's the question. Write a synthesis reaction that includes iron 3 and oxygen. This type of question is a little different than the other types of questions that we've already explored, given that we are already given our two individual elements opposed to a singular compound. If we refer back to our definition of what a synthesis equation is, we notice that there are two individual elements that are going to come together to form a product. These two individual elements are what form a reactant. So we start out with our reaction by writing iron plus oxygen yields. To make this compound, we just join them together and cross their oxidation numbers, irons being 3 and oxygens being 2. So our product is Fe2O3. As you can, you can probably guess, this is not balanced. Starting with iron atoms, we have two on the product side and only one on the reactant side. To fix this, we add a coefficient of two on the reactant side. Next, we balance out our oxygens. By adding a three to the reactant side and a two to the product side, this will give us six total oxygens on both sides of the reactions. But now this changes our iron again. Now we have four irons on our product side and only two on our reactant side. In order to fix this, we're going to have to change our reactants coefficient to four. Now everything is balanced out. So to write the chemical equation for this question, we would write out four iron atoms plus three oxygen atoms yields two iron oxide atoms. Or other words, four Fe plus three O2 yields two Fe2O3. Now that you have a few examples of synthesis equations, you should be able to start navigating your way through these types of problems. As always, I hope this helped you out and keep up your good work. Thank you for watching this all the way to the end. Don't forget to hit that like or subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're one of my students or just want to watch related videos to this topic, click the playlist button on the right side of the screen. If you're just wanting to keep up with this channel, my latest video is going to be posted to the left of the screen. Once again, hey, thank you for supporting this channel. Thank you for supporting me. And good luck this year in your classroom.